Over 10,000 years ago, humans began to live in settled societies. And ever since then, we've needed to build structures to house ourselves, to store our goods, to honor the gods. Earthen construction is fairly easy, but uh, not very strong. Wood is better, but it tends to catch fire. Brick and stone are stronger still, and they're fireproof. But how do we build with them? We can't just stack them up. We need to stick them together. We need some sort of rock glue, an adhesive that's as strong as stone itself. Or, <laughs> long as I'm dreaming, why not uh, a liquid rock that we could just pour into molds and make in any shape we wanted? Well, this futuristic sci-fi technology actually exists today. In fact, it's been around for millennia. It's called cement. You probably think cement is boring. I am here to convince you that it is pure magic. How does it work? Well, uh, oh, it is uh, actually one of the uh, oldest crafts. Cement is older than uh, pottery, older than metalworking, uh, probably even older than agriculture. Cement floors were found at this agricultural site in Turkey, Gobekli Tepe, uh, from 9600 BC. Cement begins with limestone, a sedimentary rock formed from crushed seashells. So the main ingredient in limestone is calcium carbonate. When you burn it, it uh, gives off CO2 and leaves behind carbon, uh, calcium oxide. Calcium oxide is a caustic powder. If you touch it, it will burn you. If you pour water into it, it gives off heat in an exothermic reaction. In fact, enough to boil the water. Uh, the uh, result of uh, leaving behind uh, the water in the, in the calcium oxide is called slaked lime or hydrated lime. And if you pour that into a mold and let it uh, open to the air for a little while, it will absorb CO2 from the air and set as hard as stone. The lime cycle is complete. The powder has turned back into rock. Now, a pure lime cement like this isn't very strong. But if you add sand, it makes a mortar that you can use to stick bricks together. If you also add pebbles and gravel, you get concrete, which can be poured into a mold. But we can make an even better cement. The ancient Romans discovered that if you add volcanic ash to the lime, you get a cement that will set even underwater, very useful for making harbors. Uh, this cement uses a different chemistry, by the way, which we don't fully understand today. The Romans were masters of concrete. They used it to build the aqueducts, the Colosseum, the Pantheon. And of course, all these structures stood for 2,000 years. They're still around today. Uh, in the 1700s, the Eddystone Lighthouse was rebuilt by John Smeaton, a father of civil engineering, using a variation on the Roman formula. It stood for over 100 years and was retired only when the rock underneath it uh, began to erode. But we can make an even better cement. If you get your kiln hot enough when you're firing the lime and silica, the result will uh, form very hard nodules called clinker. These are very hard to grind, so they were originally discarded as a waste product. But if you do grind them, you, the resulting powder is a cement that is stronger than any other formula. It's called Portland cement, and it's still the main type in use today, uh, ever since it was invented in the 1800s. Now, all of these cements have a drawback. They have a lot of compressive strength, but they don't have a lot of tensile strength. Uh, this is why the Romans built with mostly domes and arches. Uh, the round shape of the arch directs forces into compression uh, along the arch. The medieval builders did a similar thing. They used the pointed Gothic arch, which can stretch even higher than the round Roman ones. To prop up the high walls of their cathedrals, they used the flying buttress, all this making up for the deficiencies of the concrete. But today, we can do even better. With modern technology, we can combine uh, concrete with another material that has high tensile strength, namely steel. The combination of the two is called reinforced concrete, and those reinforcing bars are called, naturally enough, rebar. There is a drawback. Uh, reinforced concrete does not last nearly as long. The steel inside it eventually rusts no matter how well you seal it away, giving it a lifetime of only about 50 to 100 years. Uh, compare this, of course, to the 2,000 years of the Roman concrete. But it's a trade-off. With reinforced concrete, we can build structures unlike anything the Romans could build, such as the cantilevered decks of falling water or the elegant half-shell of the Sydney Opera House. That is cement. We crush and burn rock, extract its powdered essence, and then reconstitute it later in any shape we choose. Like coffee or instant pancake mix, it is instant stone. Just add water. Thanks, everybody. I'm Jason Crawford.